my channel. Again, sorry for the mess. Um, I put my makeup on, I have my hair tied back. I'm currently in our old house. Um, we spent our first night in our new house last night. So we came back to the bungalow today to clean, which is my least favourite household chore, is cleaning. So in our old living room, I never actually filmed a tour of this house, which is quite sad. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a tour of the house we're saying goodbye to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to pause and flip the camera around, so yeah. My skin doesn't actually look too bad, but yeah, I'm so tired. I got my flu jab yesterday, um, there's a bit of an echo in here as well. Um, I'm going to see if I can get rid of that echo, because it's quite bad. Ah, uh, oh. So yeah, so I got my flu jab yesterday, so my arm has been really sore. I didn't really sleep last night because it hurt and then I was really warm. Um, so yeah, we're back at the bungalow. Simon is taking a load of stuff out to the house and then he is going to the dump to dump a pile of rubbish and he's hopefully going to pick lunch up because we have no food at this house now at all bar um, cereal, which I've got to bring with me and, and crisps. Um, I did bring like tea bags and sugar and coffee, but I forgot to bring the kettle. So we've got cans of juice. So my, Simon had gone, took my old bed. So the double bed is going to my dad's for the time being. And he went to the shop and bought cans of juice. So anyway, I'm in my hall. I'm going to switch this round. So here we go. I've just noticed in my other video that my eye looks, my bad eye looks really bad. So this was our living room and um, ignore the cleaning products. So I've just been hoovering. I'm so happy that that still is like my favourite thing. That's still just right there. But yeah, this was our living room. It looks a lot smaller and there is an echo, so. But yeah, I've got the hoover in there. Um, yeah, it was a cosy little living room. We never did use the fire though. Um, yeah, I did like it. It was the only room with colour as well in the walls, but yeah. And then we have just, that's our bag. That's literally what our ground looks like the whole way around our house. And we have a, a busy road just out there. I pull, and then we have a field. There's usually cows in that field, um, but they're not there. So that's our living room. Yeah, into the hall. The hall needs a good hoover. Like I haven't had a chance to hoover it yet. Yeah. Um, I need to take this Paris thing down as well, but it's quite. I'll get Simon to do it. That's his rug from his office. There is a lot of mess. I will apologise. <laughs> Sorry about that noise, there must be stones. This is our kitchen, dining room. This is all the stuff we still have to take with us, which is insane. Um, I love the kitchen, it was a good size. It's, that's all my clothes, the rest of my clothes. I took clothes over yesterday, but I didn't take any of my trousers, but it was lucky that I had the jeans I've got on today, which are my old ones, and my good jeans, so kitchen. I did love the kitchen, a nice size, and like I say, we have a field just out there. There was The cows are always in that field as well, but... Um, don't see them today, but yeah, but yeah, good sized kitchen, plenty of storage, a little breakfast bar there, but yeah, it's a mess right now. Um, so yeah, we have got all this stuff to take over and I have no idea where it's going. But yeah, that TV's going into our bedroom, that's going into the downstairs toilet. This, I well, the curtains are going up somewhere, that's the tile reel from the bathroom, so it'll go in the bathroom, but yeah, my build a bears are all in that bag. Yeah, no idea where that stuff's all going. That's the kitchen. Um, in here is the utility room. So our tumble dryer was there. Our washing machine was under there. Again, this is just mess right now. <laughs> this is our little toilet. Yeah, it was always good having a second toilet, but I don't like my downstairs toilet right now. Cause, yeah, I could have done with the cupboard. That's the matters of my... We have hot press and another cupboard. Let me see. Yeah, that's the cupboard. There's a stone. Yep, there's a stone. Try again. That was like a cupboard where we had our coats and stuff. We, we don't have something like that right now. My old mattress, um, which is going to my dad's. I don't know why it is ripped, but anyway. Moving on. I really like living in a bungalow as well. So this was Simon's office and it looks a lot smaller than it actually is. <laughs> But when it, the, the Simon's desk and stuff um, was in here, it was a lot bigger. We had the bookshelf in the corner and then we had some bookshelves here. That's the wardrobes um, that we were using. That's literally the only wardrobes we had have in here. So a lot of our stuff was put in suitcases and sent up to the attic. 
Um, so that was just like the clothes we knew we were going to wear. This was our bedroom. So yeah, this was a really good sized room. Um, it looks weirdly, I just, I don't get the fact it looks smaller. Um, but yeah, we had a double king size bed, two bedside cabinets, two sets of drawers here. And then here we had my dresser, my makeup unit and another set of little drawers. And yeah, so it's quite a big room. Downside is the road, I guess, it's a lot of noise and we do have like diff like a lot of farming and stuff, so there's a lot of like heavy lorries and stuff goes up and down and they do speed. It's a bit crazy, so but yeah, our driveway is all stones and it's not great. So it's not moving into what was the spare room. So this was the room that my cuddlies were in. The the double bed was there, so like we had three really good double bedrooms and now we don't have the box room is like so small, hence why my double bed is going to my dad's. Um, that's my car sitting out there, I'm trying not to get my number plate in it. Um, but yeah, we have the double bed here. My bookshelf was here. The, uh, the, my auto man was along there. The Ikea chair was in the corner. Yeah, and like my builder bear sat on there and then my Minnie and Mickey sat on there. So this was Simon's office when we first moved in. And then it was too cold for him, so he moved into the other room we swapped. But still a really good sized room, like it's, yeah, I think we're going to... Bathroom is next, guys. I'm we haven't cleaned it yet, so it might be a little messy. So we're still trying to keep it as a practical bathroom. So shower, this isn't an electric shower, which bothered me. Um, but yeah, good sized bathroom. We have bath, love, I noticed when you bathed here, like the bubbles last it. I love that. Um, yeah, it's just standard bathroom. So yeah, not the bad bathroom. So yeah, that is everything. So yeah, that is everything. There's no point showing you outside. We do have a garage, but there's no point showing you outside. My eye, I'm really paranoid about my eye. Now I'm just gonna do this. Like, just, yeah, so yeah, that's kind of, I don't wanna show my number plate, but that's my car. Um, but yeah, I see, look, I'm covering my eye, it's great, and then, if I go this side, oh no, we have a garage, good sized garage, but yeah, I'm so paranoid about my eye now because it's like, <laughs> um, I'll talk about my eye, basically I've had an eye infection since March, if you look at my wedding photos, this eye is like half shot, and then um, I went to the opticians to get my eyes tested in April, they said that I had patches of dryness on the front of my eye, so the thick front of my eye was full of dryness, it was causing blurred vision. So I couldn't see properly out of that I couldn't get my lens test done, deep breath, and then I kept going back and forward to the opticians, they gave me eye drops, more eye drops and more eye drops, and nothing was helping, and then back in August, I went back to the opticians again, and this eye was just, I changed jobs actually, and I noticed this eye was like, when I was driving to work, it was like, this eye stung like crazy, it was really air irritate it and it would like want to close so I'd be driving like that like I, I really struggled to see when I was driving so I always wore sunglasses and even now I still wear my sunglasses when I'm driving except when it's dark obviously um, and I really struggled with it and I went in and got my eyes tested in August and this eye just wasn't didn't want to work it just wouldn't open it was really stinging it stung like crazy and they sent me to eye casualty in Belfast at the Royal and they said I had an infection and it's this eyelid it's just I, yeah it's just infuriating because this eye just doesn't want to open so yeah and no matter how much I try to open that eye it just yeah it's nowhere near as opened as this one and um, yeah that's really weird Whew. but yeah um, I do still have eye drops. I've requested more of the antibiotic eye drops that the eye casualty gave me. Um, the last time I did that, my doctor gave me the wrong ones. So I've requested more, so I'll open them at the, the actual, when I go to pick them up, I'll open them and then so it'd be like they're not the right ones. So, yeah. And at the moment you can't ring my doctor to get a prescription. You have to message them on WhatsApp. Which to me makes more sense because then they have like proof of what you're asking for you know so I said I want mox or something well, I call them moxy I don't know the actual name mox of flaxen or something but they gave me hilo tears and vi viso tears or something so yeah I have requested the other ones that'll be fun
but I need the antibiotics. The, the I, optician said yesterday, I need, I need the antibiotic. It's, it's clearing up. It just, uh, yeah. And obviously moving has added some stress. So my arm's getting sore. I'm using my phone. Ugh. That is my, this arm should be sore, not this one. But yeah, but no, I'm, I'm all good. Yeah. So tomorrow my car goes in for service. Simon goes to get his flu jab in the morning, so he'll follow me in and get me at the garage and then we'll go into town and get his jab and probably go back home and just, yeah, cry because there's so much to do. And at the moment we don't have a lot of our furniture. Um, we're, we have to wait until payday to get like our set of drawers and our bedside units. So like our clothes are everywhere. I don't have drawers to put my clothes in. And I have nowhere to put all this stuff. I just, like, I don't have units and stuff. So it's just like, mm. So, yeah, I'm going to go before I, because I keep waffling and I don't really like being on camera when I look a mess. But anyway, thank you guys. Bye.